So we need to take this message seriously and pray. Amen. On the 19th of January, 2020, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the Servant of God, Dr. Ian Glovo, gave a prophetic message about a sign of the end times which he was given by the Holy Spirit. He stated that persons who would have changed their gender would be elected in positions of political influence in three countries. These were his words. It says, towards early morning, God gave me a sign, another sign of the end times. You know, in 2017, I spoke of 17 signs, and then I gave only one sign. So this year I will give a lot of signs until I've exhausted the remaining 16. So these are some of the signs that I'm giving. Towards early morning today, God gave me a sign. He said, when in three countries, persons who converted their original biological makeup or bodies, they assume positions of great power and influence, we must know that it is the time of the end. Hallelujah. I will repeat for the last time. He said, towards early morning today in three countries, when in three countries, persons who converted their original biological nature or physical body assume positions of great power and influence. We must know that it is the time of the what? Of the end. He said the final fulfillment of Daniel chapter 9, verse 26, will be upon us. The abomination which causes desolation, that time will be near and also the time of the tribulation. We shall see these people converted to their point. Like, I will explain, like a person who was a man who becomes a woman, or like a person who was a woman who becomes a man. When we see um, in three countries, God gave me three countries, such persons being elected to positions of power and political influence, not small positions, I actually saw the positions in the spirit, but God said, I must just say positions of power and influence. When we see them assume those positions, it's a sign of the end times. Because obviously there's something wrong with that, but I don't want to comment a lot. Hallelujah. I don't want to comment on the moral, but God said it will be a what? A sign. Hallelujah. It will be a what? a sign. It will be a what? A sign. More on the historic election night, and not just in the race for the White House, several winning candidates making history. Janae Norman, you're on this now from Columbia, South Carolina with that. Good morning, Janae. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, last night's election marked a number of notable wins and firsts on both sides of the political aisles. Then you've got Sarah McBride, who made history back in 2016 as the first openly transgender person to speak at a major party convention. She made history again as she was elected to the Delaware state legislator, becoming the highest ranking a trans lawmaker in the country. McBride celebrated last night, saying in a statement that she is humbled by the support that she's received, and she hopes her win, quote, shows an LGBTQ kid that our democracy is big enough for them to. My name is Sarah McBride, and I am a proud transgender American. A big moment coming out of the 2020 election. Sarah McBride is the first openly transgender state senator to be elected in the United States. Towards early morning today, God gave me a sign. He said, when in three countries, persons who converted their original biological makeup or bodies, they assume positions of great power and influence. We must know that it is the time of the end. The 30-year-old will soon represent the first state Senate district in Delaware. She joins a handful of other transgender politicians around the country, but this election makes her the highest ranking transgender official in the country. McBride is currently the spokesperson for the Human Rights Campaign, the nation's largest LGBTQ advocacy organization. The Servant of God, Dr. Ian Lovu, 
urges saints the world over to watch and pray, as this is a sign of the end. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.